Music Studio is looking at facing the peril of the sixth mass extinction. We're entering a period where art production needs to give back to Mother Earth. So the Metabolic Studio was formed to really think about how can we as artists catalyze living systems and create a network of exchanges that follow from that engagement. Life web in Los Angeles is struggling to get enough water, and the LA River is moving wastewater very quickly out to sea. Wouldn't it be good if lots of locations could have LA River water that weren't adjacent to the LA River? Portable wetland takes the attributes of a wetland and distributes it throughout the city where there may not even be anything remotely that looks like nature. What's really unique about the portable wetland is its ability to clean water, but expire oxygen. Each of these boxes is full of volcanic scoria, which is small little rocks that have been delivered to us from the Owens Valley. So when you fill a big tub like this, full of LA River plants, then the root systems want to travel down in the boxes, and they travel round those pieces of scoria, and they create something like a fibrous web. And it's that web that when you put water in, cleans the water. What we're really looking at is, is it possible to support the unhoused community with portable wetlands so that they would have a water source where they could grow food or wash their clothes that wouldn't make them ill? And would the air quality be better in those really tough urban areas? With that in mind, you could place this up and down the 51 miles of LA River Channel pretty easily. So it's really looking at a systemic adaptation, which is a hope for parallel narrative to LA River revitalization. This project is part of a long inquiry by Metabolic Studio and I, this idea of bending the river back into the city. If you're throwing this water away, why wouldn't you pick some small portion of it up, cleanse it, and give it back to the floodplain? It's actually a piece of civil engineering disguised as an artwork. And it's disguised as an artwork because that was the only way to get it permitted. Once I was able to get far enough along in the permitting process, the LADWP informed me that when I lift water out of the LA River, salvaging wastewater, I would still need to pay the city for the water I salvaged in order to give it away to parks for free. That would be a problem in its replication. Not a lot of people can do the work of lifting salvaged water, cleanse it, and then pay the city to distribute it. So they said the only other way to go would be to get a private water right. I was granted a water right to 106 acre feet of water per year for what's called beneficial purposes. I have the first private water right in the city of Los Angeles. So it really is at its root core a conceptual work about precedent setting. Who can actually sit through what it takes to shift the paradigm in some small way to check the box other on the application as not a developer, not a park builder, not a politician, uh, but rather an artist, has been an innovative strategy to get a piece of adaptive reuse of civil engineering made. Metabolic Studio decided that as part of our portfolio of community engagement, that the stabilization of people who currently live in and around the LA River, most specifically in Lincoln Heights, was of grave importance to us. Water from my water right will be networked, not just to the 32 acre state park, but we have a pipe embedded in the Spring Street Bridge, which will move water from our wetland to this site, as well as Albion Park next door. We're on Metabolic's Undevelopment One site, and by undevelopment, what we mean is that we're taking a place that had some properties of the moon, namely inert, incapable of supporting 
living systems as we know it and looking at what it would take to cajole it back into being a floodplain. We're trying to see what 100 acre feet of wastewater distributed on 40 acres of industrial corridor can do for a multitude of living systems. Our sculptural projects are things like the six circles on the moon that have been allowed over a three year period to rebound, letting light and seed reconnect and adding um, cleansed water from our portable wetland. I hoped that we could reconnect with the floodplain just by removing six study circles, all of the same size on this site. We realized that all six circles were full of completely different soil, brought in from different landfills, and all six of them behave differently. We're trying to analyze um, what can be done on construction sites so that we don't create giant piles of concrete somewhere else. Now entering our fourth year, we're absolutely amazed at how vital this place is and all kinds of living creatures are thriving here. We're well on our way to thinking about what a food forest could look like on this property sometime in the distant future. Metabolic Studios Farm Lab has been looking at how do we keep living systems alive since 2006. Most of the people in Farm Lab are from District 1 or Northeast LA to whoever wants to come to help build soil and detoxify water and learn how to make medicine from the plants you see growing around you. We all uh, are interested in seeing if we can allow this land to reintegrate its primary purpose to support living systems. We're all here in a way to give back to Mother Earth um, and to pass on that knowledge to the next generations. How do we as private citizens and as artists create demonstration projects that will actually live past political time, four to eight years, to make our cities uh, breathing spaces for all living systems?